the first question is about uh, the preparation for your role, because there is this backstory episode that uh, explains a lot of the story of the family. So I was wondering if uh, there's anything that surprised you most about uh, this family and how they moved to England. You know, I have seen all the four season, four seasons of the Crown before I knew that I am I will be in. So I didn't know a lot about Muhammad al Faid. When they spoke to me about Muhammad al Faid, I became very interested to, to, to know everything about him. So I, I began to read and I began to saw videos about him because it's so big character. So I, this, I, 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 I feel I felt I, I have a big responsibility, responsibility to be to be to be good in this part. To be right in this part, okay? So I didn't know a lot of things about about him. So I I began to to do everything possible. And when they told me that I am in, and they sent me many 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 a lot of doc documents uh, by the team, the wonderful team of researchers that we have here in the Crown, and I thank them all all of them very much from my heart. It helped me so much to know a lot of things about Muhammad al Faid, about Dodi, about uh, even Diana and, and every every character in 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 the in the, this wonderful series. Yeah, do you want me to answer it too? Or do you yeah, to... sure. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, and for me, I you know, Dodi is a person who. Uh, his, his name has existed on people's lips for 25 years, but people, but people know very little about him. And the only word they have that associates with him is playboy. And when you start to enter into the real story of who Dodi was, you enter a world that is far more complex and far more interesting. And at its core, this dynamic between Muhammad al-Fayed and Dodi. Um, and uh, I was essentially like everybody else before signing up to the crown. I didn't know anything really about him. And I think there, I think that has a lot to tell us culturally, you know, just very simply, despite the fact that we've known him in some way for 25 years, no one knows what he sounds like. And they don't even ask themselves the question, how come I don't know what he sounds like? And I think this is one of the things that the crown in general does beautifully is it revisits all these aspects of our recent history or not so recent history, things that we thought we knew, and we completely now rediscover afresh and more fully. And that process, I have to say, for me, has been absolutely enlightening and joyful. I have, I, I have loved it and a huge responsibility. And about the relationship between a father and son, because we see that the father can tie with Diana with this feeling of being an outsider and trying to be accepted in another world. But when he doesn't recognize the same feeling in the son, that he's trying everything to be accepted from his father and also to find his place in this world. So I was wondering, how did you prepare between you two before going to set? Let us know which one you want to answer, just so we... Yeah, uh, if you want to answer both. Both together? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you can answer and I can answer after no. that. Oh, you can, you can start, please. Um, I allow you. Go on. I mean, my, offset, my offset, as you can see, yes. we are, it is a very special thing to have someone play your father and to yeah. play a son. Yeah. So offset this, uh, this is yes. what we are. We this are play, this game, this love, all of that. Yes. In terms of the relationship between Dodi and, and Muhammad, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a more complex one. Uh, and the exploration of that, it's a hugely loving one, but it's clearly a complex one. And it's one that kind of mirrors a lot of the big themes, I think, that exist in the crown. You know, this idea of someone older, or whether it's aspects of tradition or whatever it is, wanting the next generation, the heir, to be a certain way, right? And the heir doesn't want to be that. They want to be something else. And that's a dynamic that exists not just in these relationships in the crown. I think it exists in general 
uh, between everyone and their parents and their grandparents and all of these kinds of things, which is why it's an interesting kind of thing to explore. But there are specificities, of course, uh, to the story of Muhammad and, and Dodi, which are explored in the season. Yeah, Dodi for, for Muhammad al Fayed is the, the big prince. Yes, he, uh, Momo al Fayed uh, wants the best for Dodi. He, he wants to see him on top all the time. He prepared everything for Dodi to see him there. But sometimes this relationship uh, goes a little bit hard. But there is a big love there, big respect, and big, uh, you know, the, it's not so easy all, all the time. And I, and, but we are, we feel a real father and son in and off the, the, the screen. I mean, on, on, the, on the set and out. I, I, have, I, I, I must tell you a, a little story about what's happened after the first ta reading, table reading. Yeah, first read through. Yeah. Huh? First read through. Read through, yes. Uh, uh, Khalid told me, uh, listen, Selim, I, I was so scared who is going to be my father in this series. Now, I'm not scared. You, are, you will be my father. And we, we you know, we, we really we felt so, so close from this moment. And we, it's, I, I feel wonderful to work with Khaled because we, we, we yeah, really, we, we, we love each, each other and we hate each other sometimes. <laughs> I know I'm I'm joking. I'm joking. Yes. <laughs> I'm joking. Of course I'm joking. Because you are you are laughing now, you understand. I'm joking. So headline. No? Okay. Headline. Salim hates Khalid. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 